I'd like to introduce you to a whole new approach to preparing a cabinet scraper, and this is the Acubur. What makes the Acubur so unique is that first it's a, a solid carbide rod, but as you can see in the, in the center of the rod, there are some grooves that are milled in there. And there's three different grooves. First groove is milled at five degrees, the second at 10, and the uh, last at 15 degrees. And what this allows you to do is you can actually run this burnisher over the scraper edge, and it turns a burr on both sides of the scraper simultaneously. And each groove will produce a different size hook. So the small groove here, the five degree hook will produce a very fine hook. The 10 degree one will produce a hook for everyday use. And then the 15 degree groove will produce a hook that's very aggressive that you can use for shaping wood. So what this does is this greatly simplifies the process of preparing a card scraper. It gives you more consistent results and you're able to make uh, prepare a scraper with less skill and less training. So it's a game changer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this Acubur in action. And I'm going to show you exactly how I prepare a scraper using the Acubur so you can see it in use. So now I'm going to show you how to prepare a cabinet scraper, and I'm going to show you how the Acubur can be an important part of that. But I'm going to show you a method that is the simplest and I feel the least costly method to do that. So first of all, cabinet scraper, it, it's just a piece of steel. It's the simplest tool in your shop. But when properly prepared, it can do some amazing things. It can take really light shavings if you're doing very fine veneer work. It can clean up tear out if you're uh, in a piece of wood that where places where a hand plane just wouldn't be able to do it. You can set it up with a really aggressive burr to actually shape wood. So why aren't these more widely used? Why are, why are cabin scrapers not available at the home centers at Walmart? Well, I feel that People have a hard time getting a good consistent burr on them, so they they so they give up. So uh, the method I'm going to show you will give you a great burr in as little time as possible with as little cost. So I use a scraper vise. This is just typically two blocks of wood sandwiched together with a wing nut, and this helps hold my scraper at a 90 degree. So when I'm filing it and I'm honing the edge, I get a much more consistent result. So. Basically, I just stick it in there, stick my scraper in there. It sticks up just slightly, maybe a 64th of an inch above the surface, and then I keep it there. Now, remember, you can also use, um, make a scraper vise if you don't have a tail, a vise on your bench. You can actually make one that has a couple of tabs here, like this one here. And then you can actually stick it on your bench and you can actually put a clamp here and you can hold there, hold your scraper vise there. It works fantastic. Um, so this, this will eliminate the need for a vise. It's actually like a little mini Moxon vise. It's kind of cute. So I also use lapping film. I mean, you can use diamond stones or other water stones, but they usually cost, you know, the range of about a hundred bucks a piece. This piece of, uh, lapping film is stuck to a piece of glass, uh, and which is really cheap. Um, I also use another little device that helps me push down on the scraper as I'm, as I'm honing the faces. I'll show you how that works as well. So let's get started. So I take the scraper and I put it in my scraper vise. I drop it in my vise and then I, I need to file this edge. This is a brand new scraper. The edge is not perfect. It needs to be needs to be fixed. Imperfections need to be taken out. So I'll take a single cut mill file, smooth, and I will just run it across this. Now the scraper vise helps keep my file 90 degree to the edge. So I do this a few times and I'm watching it until I remove all the imperfections until it's nice and straight. Now I have to remove those file marks because the file does leave marks. So now I go to my lapping film and I'm going to lap this on my 60 micron film. And I do this just enough until I can see that there's no more file marks. I flip it over to my 40 micron side and I will polish out those 60 micron scratches. So what I've done now is I've created a nice straight and smooth edge. Now I need to work on the faces because filing leaves a little bit of a burr here. So I take my little piece of wood, half inch wide, three quarter thick. It's got some rare earth magnets embedded in it. They're slightly below the surface so they don't contact the scraper. I put it on my edge. This gives me a handle to hold on. Let's me push down. And then I take a thin ruler, 20 thousandths thick ruler. This is the David Chesterworth ruler trick. I set it on my, my film. The ruler raises up the side a little bit, so all the pressure is right at the edge. And then I, I start on the 60 micron side, and I'll polish the edge of 
that scraper. Now you can take a magic marker and draw a line on there if you want to kind of gauge your process, your progress, if that helps. Um, I'm going to do the other side. And all I'm doing is so I can see a nice little shine along the edge. Then I'm going to flip this over to my 40 micron side and I'm going to polish the edge again. Just takes a few passes. Okay, so now I'm done. So what I've done is I've created a smooth straight edge on the face and smooth sides. And this is at a 90 degree. You can actually feel that it's sharp. It's not enough to cut you, but you can feel a nice 90 degree edge. So now I'm gonna drop this in my vise. I'm gonna take my AccuBur. I'm gonna put a drop of oil on it. And now I'm gonna run this narrow groove right here over the scraper. I'm gonna drop that here. And I'm gonna run two passes. What this does is it, it, it creates a burr on both sides of the scraper simultaneously. So I'm gonna do it again. Now I'm gonna to move to the middle groove, the 10 degree groove, and I'm gonna do one pass. Now if you're wondering, I'm putting about five to seven pounds of pressure. Now I'm gonna feel that edge with my fingernail and I can feel a slight burr there. So now I know I'm done. The biggest mistake people make when they're trying to do scrapers, newbies, is they try to create this huge burr. The bigger the burr, the harder it is to push because uh, they're making such a huge shaving and it's more vulnerable to breaking. So now let's see how we did. I'm going to take this here. And look at that. I get a nice shaving. Nice shaving. Flip it around. I get a nice shaving. I get a nice shaving. So there you have it. The simplest way, in my opinion, to prepare a scraper. And that involves using the AccuBur. Another area where the AccuBur shines is when doing profiled scrapers. So if you have a profiled scraper like this, you prepare the edge, same way you would do a straight one. You would have to, you know, hone the edge and then hone the faces. You'd have to do it a little different than you could just take a block of wood and put it on your lapping film and then you could, you could, uh, hone the edge. The block of wood will help keep it nice and square or 90 degree to the, to the stone. And that'll give you a nice 90 degree edge. Then you can actually lap the flat side. Then you can take the AccuBur and you can run it along the edge and it'll make a burr on both sides simultaneously. It does a really fantastic job with profiled scrapers. It'll also work with these concave scrapers. Uh, this takes a little different approach. I had to wrap some lapping film, 60 degree lapping film on a dowel. Then I could get in there and I could actually polish the edges of this scraper. And then I polished the faces and I ran a, the AccuBur on there and it created a nice burr on both sides. Um, this little con Vex scraper, it worked just as well. I had to put some lapping film on a stick and then I was able to put this in my vise and then I was able to polish the edge, kept it at 90 degree and just polished along the edge and then went and did a at the 40 micron side and that gave me a nice um, edge. And then I was able to run the AccuBur on it and it uh, created a nice burr on both sides. You could use it on even really tiny scrapers like this little baby guy here. This is like 10 thousandths of an inch thick. This would work fine with. You can actually use it on uh, hardened scrapers too, like some of the Arnold scrapers we sell are very hard and they're very difficult to turn a burr on, but the Agu burr does a very fine job. So let me show you how this one works. I did a little, um, I did this this little bump here. So this would be like a juice groove and this Agu burr will make a nice shaving. I gotta adjust my plane stop. And you can actually get nice shaving. Look at those shavings you're getting there. So this would be a fantastic way to clean up a juice groove or something like that. So there you have it. The AccuBur has many, many uses in the shop for straight scrapers, for profiled scrapers, for thin scrapers, for hard scrapers.